वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ईयर इंटरमीडियट ग्रामर क्लासेस ओके इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस वी आर गोइंग टू कवर क्वेश्चन नंबर्स 18, 19, 20 एंड दैट विल गिव अस 4 प्लस 4 प्लस 4 दिस इज 12 मार्क्स ओके नाउ 12 मार्क्स इज अ क्वाइट अ बिग अमाउंट इन आवर 100 मार्क्स पेपर राइट now this completely depends on how best we can use english okay it is more about it's more about pronunciation okay and identifying the right phonetic transcriptions of english words okay this is not a new topic okay students while we were in the classrooms we tried to understand uh, certain words like uh, like nostalgia from first lesson and fames from the poems and so on is it not yeah because in the textbooks it is given like a word okay today we are dealing with phonetics topic well phonetics topic and a word is given for example this is a word any word and after this there were two slashes and after this they'll give noun okay and here they might have given like some pronunciation now here i'll write the word like s u b t l e okay s u b t l e now once i pronounce this word once i pronounce this word here it becomes like subtle s u b t l e subtle subtle okay b is silent if you observe there is no b in this phonetic transcriptions okay we don't have b in this phonetic transcription that means b should not be pronounced subtle okay then here we have these are called phonetic transcriptions okay the examiner will give like this and we have to write the spelling in this way okay examiner will give s c a like this these are all not english letters they are phonetic symbols okay in forthcoming classes okay the in this same video i'll explain what are these actually okay well did you understand just i'll make this as a simple example for you okay why phonetics have been given for us okay now coming to next if you divide english into vowels and consonants okay we know pretty well that there are five vowels and 21 consonants okay totally we have 26 letters okay but we have 44 sounds that we have to understand how many 44 sounds more than double okay if you consider telugu and hindi it is not like that those many sounds are there those many letters are there hence they look very beautiful when you pronounce hindi or telugu okay that is the reason telugu is known as italian of the east okay the sweetest language okay we must be proud that we are born into telugu families okay right students we are learning english okay in order to communicate our ideas easily okay you may put a question why can't we communicate our ideas in telugu yes you can but now english has become a widespread language even at uh, okay uh, placements and classrooms and so on you can't uh, translate okay like everything into our mother tongue okay means uh, all subjects cannot be taught in telugu right for example if you take example of uh, um, uh, physics and chemistry can be translated but once you go to the higher level of courses telugu medium like uh, we can't learn telugu medium uh, in all the levels like if you go to post graduation level or uh, btech level or mbbs or something like yeah there is nothing wrong in learning about but 
uh, word for word translation may not be possible hence we need to learn english well students now for learning english we have to understand that vowels five consonants 21 the 26 letters we have 44 different sounds okay you can find this entire information in page number 227 of 227 to 233 of your textbook okay we know pretty well that okay time is very less for learning all these things but we need to just give a quick reading on this okay now so now vowels can be again divided into pure vowels and diphthongal glides pure vowels means we have a single vowel sound okay pure vowels means we have a single vowel sound and diphthongal glides means combination of two vowel sounds okay now consonants or these 21 consonants can be understood like small letters of english like k is represented with a small letter of k capital t or t letter is represented with small t just like here okay just like here t i wrote it looks like small symbol t capital letter i wrote here this is a capital letter right now did you understand now students we need to keep concentration why we have to learn these phonetics because english is a foreign language and it has so many rules and regulations while speaking okay soon after once you go for uh, higher level of exams like uh, toefl okay gre okay ielts Okay, you might not have heard all these things or someone might have even heard about okay for example after this intermediate if you want to pursue your uh, undergraduate course in any country in the world they will not teach you in Telugu right we have to learn the subject and we have to uh, be confident about learning okay subject through English medium is it not that's the main purpose now here right pronunciation is needed okay and understanding is also needed okay now see here tomb t-o-m-b tomb b is not written here okay that is b is silent then we have all this information in page number 230 once you keep concentration on that okay now see how school is written yes is the symbol of sir sound k sound ch is together k and this double O is pronounced as U N L school how to pronounce this school now again we have here night okay night N I G H T they'll give you like this and we have to write like this okay examiner will give night like this and we have to write the right spelling of that then here we have screen what it is screen now sc k okay sc put together sir is pronounced ka is pronounced re is pronounced n is pronounced so screen examiner will give marks for this okay six words they will give and we have to write english spellings for any four words hence the topic is quite easy just we need to understand what are the right symbols and right sounds of right letters and here we have about that okay here p is represented as okay this is p sound p not p sound it is p okay b t d k g ch z jam okay m n ng N, G put together. Okay. Ng. Then L, F, V, T. Okay. How to pronounce this? In mathematics we have theta. Okay. How to pronounce that? T, H, E, T, A. Theta. Okay. Not theta. 
theta is not correct theta okay th should be pronounced theta okay theta is not correct theta is correct okay then here we have the sound then we have s sound then z za sound zero then this is sh shu this is j ja, vision okay then we have hat h r car okay wet like okay this way we can understand the symbols of consonants now examiner will give us different words uh, under phonetic transcriptions we need to write the english spellings here okay now you might have understood this concept students yeah now i'll give you some words here under phonetics okay let us try to answer them okay well okay students let us see here here is an exercise for you okay examiner will give the words like this okay six words i have taken okay random vocabulary and these six words we have to write the right spellings of this okay can you guess what can be the spellings of this yes just try to pronounce the consonants okay try to pronounce the consonants no stab g y yeah. okay this is a spelling no style g y yeah. no style g y yeah. okay next hospitality okay next arms a r m s r is silent how to pronounce this arms okay s is also pronounced as z okay next sen sei sh nal okay you can write as sen sei sh nal okay then we have com pr mais okay this is like this okay inverse e like this okay com pro mais and finally ruined r u i n e d okay all these words you can find from page number 226 of your study material okay just work on them and you will get four marks from this okay this is a compulsory question and don't try to ignore okay students yeah yeah if you have further uh, questions let us see when you personally meet in the classrooms okay till then have a good time stay safe